welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. I'm your host, Marissa Hill, and today we're gonna to be looking at two different shoes. Both are a New Balance and Casablanca collab. One is the 327, the other is the 237. So let's take a quick sneak peek. to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end. Don't forget to leave me any comments or questions down below. Feel free to hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on. As well as be sure to check out that join button. We have a ton of membership perks that you guys are not gonna wanna miss out on as well as our merch store. We've got a lot of great shade merchandise. So be sure to check that out when you have the time. Today, we're gonna be looking at two different silhouettes wet done by New Balance and Casablanca. I am so excited to go through these two, especially since one of them is a completely new silhouette. So first we're going to start off with the overview and then I'm going to talk about sizing on both of these. After sizing, I want to actually bring out some other older collaborations that were done with Casablanca and New Balance. And then we're going to get into styling. This was an exciting shoe to style just because spring is so close. I can feel it. I can taste it coming so this is definitely a spring shoe the colorway everything about it just smells like spring almost that's what i feel like so we're gonna get into that fun styling portion towards the end and then conclude with how these are doing currently on the resale market so as you guys probably know as well these only dropped on new balance and the casablanca website so pretty limited shoes and that definitely is reflecting a little bit on the resale pricing let's get into this overview starting with the 327 this is the og silhouette now that casablanca is not new to whatsoever. This is definitely one of the sportier shoes that I've seen New Balance come out with. And I was absolutely in love with the shoe. I actually stated last year that this was my favorite new silhouette of 2020, and I still love it so much. I have this in different colorways from previous New Balance collabs. This is the third rendition that they are now in, which is pretty crazy, but well-deserved because Casablanca definitely has added something so new and refreshing to New Balance's collabs that they've done. And I think this is just so unique in so many ways. So let's just take a look at this shoe. So we've got suede, mesh, and a nylon all coming to together across the upper and we have this really just cool pattern with these light hues of green and pink and tans it really reminds me of when i was actually in morocco which makes so much sense because this is a french moroccan designer and i feel like he really brought some artsy pieces to this shoe and it has a lot of Moroccan kind of French influence to it. As we move up into the tongue, we've got again some nice leaves and it looks like it's a plant kind of growing up and it's nice just simple cream nylon with some simple white laces. One of my favorite parts of the laces on the Casablanca Idealist collabs are these nice gold tips. It just makes it so classy. Ugh, I'm obsessed with it. So let's take a closer look at these key pieces on the front of the upper part of the shoe.
All right, so now let's look at the medial and lateral portions of the shoe. As you guys can see here, we have that in large N, which has kind of signified the collapse with Casablanca. This is the biggest N I've seen on any of the New Balance shoes. On the 327, you will see that it is not on both sides. We have just a clear plain palette on one side of the side panels. Then we've got more of the textile design that moves onto the side panels and onto the back of the heel counter. Again, we've got this nice kind of a waffle pattern going and moving up in this just nice pop of green. It's a very refreshing color. On the side, we've got New Balance in this really cool kind of coppery tone, which I think really pops off of that textile pattern. And then on the inside for the insole, we have just a simple white insole with New Balance in this nice pink, which actually matches the pop of pink that outlines the end here on the side panel. Let's take a closer look at those details. All right, so now we're gonna finish off the shoe with the midsole, which is a nice, simple white color scheme. Then at the bottom, we have this nice kind of simple beige, and it's finished off with a green outsole. This is a beautiful, beautiful shoe. Now let's move on to the 237. The 237 basically gets its origins from the 327. It is pretty much the same letter or numbers, but you know, flopped. And this shoe is definitely a little bit more of a sleeker, more classic silhouette. I feel like this is more of a futuristic and more kind of athletic athletically sportier looking shoe, uh, but this is definitely a nice refreshing twist on the 327, which I do like. This one was actually styled with green laces as opposed to the white laces, although you do get the option on the 237 to have the white lace option. When we move on to the toe box, we still have that nice textile pattern and the same coloring scheme. It's a little bit different in the design on the toe box, uh, but it's definitely got just a little bit sleeker, more subtle look. When we move up, we've got more of a gray suede as opposed to this kind of light creamier white tone on the 327. But the tons do match actually pretty similarly. We still have the leaves with the little flowers popping out on there and that cream nylon tongue. Let's take a closer look at those front parts of the upper of the shoe. to the side panels, you will notice we still have these 
larger ends, except this one does not have uh, the same uh, inside portion where there is no end. There's actually two large ends, which is kind of cool. So you can see it on both sides where opposed to this one, you don't have it on the inside. Then we wrap around again, we have that nice textile pattern going on, which is quite vibrant. And it's just a more sleeker back. It's not as sporty as the 327. Moving on to the midsole, we've got just a nice white midsole with a nice pink simple line going through it. And then we've got some more accents of that same green that we've seen on the 327 that go down into the outsole. And then for the insole, we've got just some simple white and pink lettering, just like we do on the 327. So let's take a closer look at the shoe in detail. on both of these shoes. I would say that they fit very close. Um, I would for sure recommend staying true to size. I ordered this in the 7.5 men's, which is equivalent to a woman's size nine. And I would say definitely, I've got a little bit of extra room, but I would not size up or size down on this one. Now I want to take out a couple previous collabs that was done with Casablanca and New Balance just to kind of show you the variations between how the designer has really evolved and grown through his different collabs with New Balance. And I just love the transitions he's made and how different each of his collabs are. So I don't feel like I'm buying really the same shoe each time he does a great collab with New Balance. So I'm going to pull out some 327s. Obviously this is the first 237, so I don't have one to compare, but you'll see what all the 327s are that I have and why I love them so much. So this was kind of a Dalmatian themed one, which I loved because of the simplicity with the black. And I feel like the cream laces and the whites and the grays, this, this goes with absolutely everything. This one just really pops with this orange. It reminds me of 7up for some reason. And it's so unique. I'm not really a big orange fan, but the way that this coloring scheme goes together is just so amazing. So I am absolutely in love with the 327s and I love that I get to add this one to the mix. Let me know also, you guys, what is your favorite 327 out of the mix of which ones I have? Now let's talk about styling. These shoes were so much fun to style just because again, it's getting into spring. So I'm getting kind of antsy. I'm ready for it to be warmer, even though it wasn't as warm as I was hoping because I wanted to have more spring accented wardrobe items. Um, I did have to dress a little bit on the warmer side because it was chilly today. But uh, to start, I wore my Essentials crew neck, which I'm wearing now, and the matching pants. And it's kind of this creamy gray coloring scheme, which I think just goes great with the colorway of these two silhouettes, just because it allows these shoes to really be the statement piece in that look. It was chilly, so I layered that with a gray coat. And I think trenches obviously just go great with any sneaker, especially when you're pairing it with a sweatsuit. I decided to go with a kind of cream colored pant on the baggier side, more of a tailored fit. And then I wore just a faux fur coat in this like cream coloring scheme. There's a lot of creams going on with the N and the tongue. So I wanted to bring some cream colors into the mix. And I wore just a crew neck, which is a 
light gray color scheme and it's my Calvin Klein Kith crew neck. And I think that those colors just really work well. Lots of tans and neutrals, anything that just kind of reminds you of like a refreshing color scheme, I think will go amazing with these shoes. For the last and final look, I actually decided to go with more grays, but kind of a greener shade just to kind of show you what greens look like with this shoe or layered and paired with the shoe. So I wore just some simple black leggings with some cream thick socks to match this tongue in the end. And then I paired that with a Zara long kind of greenish uh, sweater. And I layered that on top with no yoon, just hooded sweater in gray. And I think those colors just were a great option for the shoe. Guys let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite look out of the three. I already know better. 24K got nothing on me. Make you want it forever. Try to play a game, but you don't play for keeps. Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah. Shoes on hardwood For me, you know I wrote the book I'm moving along from somebody wrong now. So go ahead Tell me all the ways you miss it How you want me back in your bed But I'm not around for hearing you out I, I gave it so much honestly And you closed the door Now you're calling me But I don't need you anymore Yeah You want it forever Trying to play a game But you don't play for keeps Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah Now let's conclude with resell. Both of these shoes retailed at $150 and currently the 237 is going between $150 to $250 depending on what size you are and the 327 is going between $175 and $250. All right. Thank you so much again, you guys, for tuning in to another one of my review reviews and unboxings. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions down below that you may have, as well as hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on, as well as our join button. Be sure to check out our new membership tiers. We've got so many available options that you guys are not going to want to miss out on, as well as our new shade merch store. We've got so much heat on that store, you guys. You've got to check it out. All right. Until next time, we will catch you on the next video.